Hey, what's going on guys in this video? I'm going to be showing you how you can increase your FPS, fix FPS drops, lag, and get better performance in Wuthering Waves. I hope this video helps you. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive straight into it. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games. Using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Go to Wuthering Waves game settings and follow me. Adjust the sound settings to your liking and then head over to the graphics section. These settings will have the biggest performance impact when playing the game. Such the graphics quality presets to medium and then such the screen mode option to foot screen. If you can play in games and foot screen usually helps maintain a better frame rate. Below, set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. Under custom choose a frame rate such as 60Fs. If you feel like you can maintain this frame rate while lowering some of the next setting sets. The shadow quality to low, as shadows usually cause a lot of frame rates drops. If your GPU is about to neck to your performance, sets the special effects quality option to low, as well as the L0D bias option. Enable capsule at zero. Disable volumetric fog and volumetric lighting below. Disable motion blur enable NVIDIA DLS. And set the super resolution option to automatic next. Leave the sharpening option at zero though you can reduce it if you notice any lag. After applying the next settings, disable V-Sync as this can lower your frame rate. You can enable it again if you experience screen tearing. Lastly, make sure to enable NVIDIA Reflex if you can. Now go to my website I give link in the description and download the Wuthering Waves FPS Boost Pack from here and follow me. File guys. We have a bunch of very useful registry tweaks, which I always link you know, as an overall quick enhancement. Because after each and every single winner's update, you should actually disable all of these services. We have something like driver searching, file history services power fraudling, disable energy estimation, just simply all of these processes, which are going to slow down our PC. And the worst part about it is, they're all getting always ray enabled after each and every single Windows update. So you gotta do this consistently guys. You know, just simply click onto it, edit to your registry, and then click through all of them to make sure that they're applied or something like high priority, which right is here. the very simple interface of the quick boost As up. you're inside here in the general tab, you'll find that all the basic to meditation, like you can disable here the Xbox and the game bars, and click on this button, and disable or compile your PC. Hit OK now. Here's the time and evolution for using input only. Next, if you go to disable start documentary, install it on your PC, then heavy go to disable mouse acceleration, install it and disable power saving, moon on your windows after that. Here you will find out the PowerPoint setting. But guys, we are already using the power control, so I don't suggest you to do it. And here is the apply system profile tweet. Hit OK now here the next step you will find this. Disable unnecessary services. So go forward and disable all the unnecessary services on your windows after that hit OK. Here is the disabled starter program in the city manual. So guys go for it. And guys, now you do disable here all the underduced application like the Skype. I have already disabled it from running in the startup. Then here we go to this Microsoft Edge. I have already disabled it. In mem, I have already disabled it physically. No, let me just disable it on my PC, guys. After that, I'll close out it. Now go for the next Inside, step. you will find out this amount settings. Like disable memory turkling. So install it memory weeks. Then install it BC to weeks frequency of your system it. Okay, and guys, here's some advanced setting for your RAM. Simply don't type your size of your RAM. Like I have 6 feet GB. So I will type 6 feet GB the center. Now he will go to this hardware data. Q size for the tendency and guys enable the settings. After guys now you can also go for the next day. You will find out all the cleanup section. But we already have cleaned all the junk file. From Windows now simply close on this application. And as you guys downloaded the program successfully. Just simply drag it onto your desktop. And double click on it. And as you can see this new installer here pops up. And now we can see guys. That it's gonna show us exactly which CPU we running. For me it's AMD Ryzen 740 700X with 8 cores and 16 frets. And as you can see. My stalker speed is right now 3.59 GHz. And now here on the top, this is where the magic happens boys. Here we get the CPO settings for power profile. And we're just simply gonna click on this. Drop down menu and go to bit some highest performance. This is the best mode guys by the way. Um you can use whatever you want. But the bit some highest performances give gonna. you the maximum amount of FPS. And as you can see, everything got already changed here automatically. We don't need to apply anything for ourselves. And obviously, you don't want to put in, like a low power mode here on top. Because we just want to boost it to the maximum. Just to sum this up real quick guys. Um, this program does automatically determine, which are the best settings for your CPU. And as you can see, it's gonna adjust the boost settings here. All by himself and just simply click here on apply. And the new settings have been applied. 
But what I would also recommend you is to enable the Bitsum Dynamic Boost. Since this is like a better power plan than the high performance one, we already enabled in previous tutorials. Just gonna read it out real quick. This handy feature forces the PC to be on Bitsum, highest performance power plan while active, but the lowest the CPU, the more conservative power plan when it goes idle. And what is this pretty much is gonna boost or apply, like this new power plenty guys, which we have to set up here again. I and disrupt how many as you can see when the PC I'll is. I'll use the bits and highest performance one. And we're just gonna gonna press here okay. And then here okay. As well and as you can see, the new power plan has been applied guys. And this is always gonna make sure that your CPU and your system or wall is running at 100%. So now type hasn't... in run until you find the run application. Just simply open it up and in here type in M. S config just simply written out like this. Just simply press OK here, and the new system configuration window here should pop up and if we go over to boot, we can see now that we get the advanced options here for our current operating system. And yeah, just simply opened up here, advanced options, and then we see your number of processors. And usually it's just on one here, just simply put the check in here, and now you can put the maximum amount of frets. And since I'm running a 8 core 16 fret CBU, I can put it all the way up to 16 guys. And this is exactly what I would recommend. You just simply put the highest number possible in there to just make sure that your CPO is running at 100% and all the cores and all the extra frets are utilized always. And then just simply press OK press here. Press apply, press OK again. And now it says you um, that you should probably restart your PC. Everything to apply correctly. Um, you can do this later on. I would recommend you to just watch the rest of the video. So you apply all the steps and then restart your PC. But you can of course also do right now. But I'm gonna do it later so yeah. I'm just gonna press your exit without reset. Now all you guys have to do is Search go into bar a and type in power. Until you find the edit power plan in the control panel settings. And then just simply open it up. And then you see here the change. Advanced power settings thing. Just simply click on it can minimize this window. And all we have to care about is the power options. Type here and... All you guys have to do is simply scroll a bit down until you find PCI Express. Just simply press the plus here, and then you see Link State Power Management again. Press the plus, and as you can see this setting here is set to off. For some people it might be on moderate power savings, maximum power savings. Just simply make sure it's set to off, and with that, we make sure that our GPO is always running at 100%. We get the max FPS and the lowest input delay possible. Then just simply press apply press OK, and you already successfully apply this step as well.